Hi everyone, so as I promised you, this is the second part of my review of one of my greatest Baja and as one of my, yeah, rather small collection. Um, so this Baja is made specifically for on-road racing. It has great engine, uh, it is very strong, very durable and uh, at the same time it's one of the most prettiest one that I've ever had so let me tell you a, a little bit about it so uh, here we have some nice uh, nice body on top now we made it as a police car we have a lot of lighting systems, so lights, 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 lights here. They actually work as the blue and red to create more um, police view. We have the rear lighting, we have lights under the car. Uh, unfortunately, this has been uh, on the shelf for a little while already. I'm not using it because we don't race any on road in Azerbaijan that's why this Baja after we made it it's kind of we did a couple of test runs runs great but uh, we never actually did any racing and the reason that's why I'm, I want to sell this one because it's just pain for me to look on the shelf and see how this baby is just sits on a shelf I don't want it to get the title of a coon shelf so that's why I want to give it away to someone who would take a good care of it. So let's look inside of this baby. Now, let's remove the cage. Um, as you can see, we actually had to create our own solution for the lighting connector. Um, I mean, with this bus, you always have to to come up with some solutions <coughs> I mean this is how you should race it with the team chase case on it it's very strong uh, very practical that's why we have it on it and that the top shelf is just for the design purpose mainly <coughs> so if we can go around closer um, so as you can see this is kind of aluminium edition uh, the, my previous on-road version was the carbon this one is main focus was aluminium actually I built this car uh, out of the scrap materials that I had and this was just let's let's create a Baja which will be cheap and we have a lot of spare parts but it turned out to be one the most expensive one not one of them, the most expensive ones um, let's go into it. Uh, first of all, as you can notice, um, the whole chassis has been, not the chassis, but the, the arms are extended. Uh, this package is FLM, cost about 300. Uh, as I said, we have a tin chase case on it. Let's remove this one also. Um, as you can see, this big piece, this is a Bartholomew pipe. With a Scott Finley, uh, Finley <coughs> engine, 40 cc, great engine. Uh, at the back we have uh, also aluminium towers, shock tower, also by FLM. Uh, we have some nice shocks and the modified FC the rear <coughs> um, wheelie bar with a bumper or bumper with a wheelie bar has some slick tires, you know, very tough tires and some aluminium wheels. <coughs> um, so what do we have, uh, like one of the great extras is the uh, Megatech uh, hydraulic brake system. It has the hydraulic brakes on the front and the RCR brakes on the back. We, this is the Megatech, let me show you here. Um, we have something very rare. This is a symmetric system. 
Um, it's I actually purchased it from the guy from Australia, the Rock Symmetric System. It uses uh, three servos. Um, I mean, this makes your car go smooth as hell and straight as possible. In order to fit this pipe, we had to come up with some solution, as you can see. This one you have to uh, hide. Uh, we redid uh, the box. Now the box looks smaller. I have some connectors. It's just disconnected right now and the air filter is out. That's why it's kind of messy, but when it's complete, it looks nice. I do have to take um, this ones inside nicely. Um, so as a bar, it has uh, nice ball ends. It has aluminum hubs on the front and back. We have the IPR turnbuckles. Um, I mean, the, also the chassis, the custom chassis that we did. Uh, so let me make this made from a strong aluminum material cnc in Azerbaijan by it was a special order um so the turning is great the engine is wonderful let's turn this bar around and i'll show the, the other side so here is this massive engine uh we have uh, we have to tighten this baby with the DPA uh, mount. We have one brake system here. We have the turn turtle racing uh, turtle racing drift case. We have I think this was no the dog bones were by which company? Yes. Which one? It wasn't fat and the dog bones. I'll look just right in my computer to check what it was exactly. Um, we have um, some cables, uh, we have thick... Uh, uh, what was this name? <coughs> sway bar. Sway bar, exactly. A hostel... Um, uh, rubbers uh, to make it tight um yeah the, i have to put this one on this is the turtle racing pull starter on the bdm gas cap which is really nice yeah that's yeah we should shoot this servos actually also from here three servos one high tech two servos <coughs> Sorry, I um, had a little bit of cold. Yeah, massive battery, um, four channels, a system with a Futaba remote. Um, yeah, the remote is not, uh, won't be selling, uh, but uh, because I use uh, this remote for two Bajas. What else? I mean, as you can, there are lots of parts. I mean, uh, I will list all the parts and all the costs uh, on the... Yeah, that one I also mentioned. So yes, this is uh, our Baja 40cc performance edition, aluminium edition, or how it's called. It's for sale. Um, if you zoom in, you can see uh, how much it has in extras. <coughs> yeah, 5,000. Yeah, that list will be online. Um, I think I'll be... S the starting bid will be 4,000. <coughs> because overall... Uh, the whole car, I mean, it's just upgrades worth of 5,000 and plus the buff itself, it's more than six, six grand. Um, yeah, um, send me your offers, your comments, um, great value. I mean, if you're interested, the shipping is included worldwide. Oops. Um, if 
you have any questions about the Baja, leave some comments or email me. I'll tell you everything about it and the lighting if you want to see how the lights work. I had this extra video. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, to connect with that. Yeah, it has the light control of course. It all kind of Stroke. strokes and everything is works great. Engine never on. Yeah, only a couple of test runs. Um, overall, it's a great fast Baja. Um, for you guys, a little bit too bit. So take care and stay tuned with our channel. We will do uh, forward a comparison between HPI versus Lossy and HPI versus a Roland Baja. I'll give you my suggestions what to buy. As you can see, I'm a great fan of. Uh, RC cars, uh, lots of parts, um, lots of tires, and, and lots, uh, lots of extras. I mean, with all these parts, I may per perhaps I can build another one. So, Baku Baja Club, thanks very much. Take care and leave your comments below. Thanks very much. <coughs>